Right now we have running back Jaheim White. Questions for Jaheim? Greg? So Jaheim, from the spring when we had our last chance to talk to you, what would you concentrate on over the summer and now through preseason camp? Or what area do you really think you want to improve? Um, really just the little things like all the little things Coach Scott and um, Coach Brown put us through for real. Uh, my breakaway speed, like, you know, running after the uh, thing, running after the fifth, I mean, the first line, I guess, whatever. Yeah, so it's just the little things, bro. You have improved? You yeah, feel yes. better? <coughs> Coach has been talking you up. Um, does that make you feel good? Say, hey, listen, we got this guy here. It's got a chance of being special. Uh, keep an eye on him. Does that give you a confidence boost? Or is it more than you got, I guess? Is that? Yeah, it, yeah, it gave me a confidence boost. But, like, I don't really like to pay attention to it because, like, like, a lot of other players, they when, once they hear that, then, like, they get big head and all that. But I like to maintain and just work down low, work on the low. So kind of sneak up on people? Yeah. yeah. You like playing with a chip on your shoulder because um, you didn't get as much attention preseason from <laughs> You know, those giving out awards and yeah. preseason stuff that is some may be expected. Do you take that to heart? Do you use that as motivation? Uh, yeah, I definitely use it for motivation, uh, but I don't take it to heart. Uh, I, I love to work with a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I feel like that's the only way I could get through with a chip on my shoulder. And, uh, yeah. Did you average like 7.7 .7 yards to carry last year? How do you improve on that? I mean, or do you have to improve on that? I mean, yeah, there's always room for uh, improvement, but like, if I just keep working on the little things, it's going to keep leading to the, the bigger picture and the bigger things. Obviously, people are going to be looking for you. I mean, yeah. you surprised a few people last year, but yeah. they, you can't surprise them this year. No, nah, I mean, it, every year is a new surprise, and so no surprise, but. Your biggest number was in terms of carries, but are you ready to physically prepare to take more of a load and carry the ball more? Oh, of course, yes, sir. Body wise, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to ball. <laughs> <laughs> How much more comfortable are you with pass blocking and you know catching passes, all that kind of stuff? Oh uh, yeah. So the pass blocking was like really my biggest thing uh, that I had to work on, but. You know, over the spring and all that, Coach Scott really uh, worked with me with the pass protection, and uh, I feel like I got way better with pass pro. Coach, Coach Scott told us earlier, you're coming into camp a little earlier. Uh, what, what's up with that? You're getting up a little earlier and getting here. Uh, he said, well, it's like 6 a.m. You're not really a morning guy, are you? No, I, I hate the morning. But, uh, you know, if you want to be great, you got to wake up a little earlier than what you're supposed to and come in, get extra work, get recovery. Eat big, you know, little stuff. He thought that was one of the biggest steps you made last year was taking care of your body, uh, doing the things you have to do after a game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you do what you got to do up to the game, but there's a whole bunch you got to do after the game to get yourself ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, so, well, like, what, what, what you mean? Recovery, going and doing the things that you got to do, rehab, get yourself ready to go for the next week because it's a grind. You, you get beat on every week, and yeah. uh, as the season goes on, you, you, you lose weight. You're Talk about that a little bit, how you have to take care of yourself. Uh, so, like, really, you just, like, well, with me, I, I maintain my weight. Um, so, like, say Saturday night, we'll come back. It'll be, like, real late. So I'll just really just go home, get, like, a nice little meal in, and then Sunday morning I'll come. And then I'll get like a little recovery, cold tub or cryo. Uh, maybe get in the boots, like depending on how my legs feeling, or uh, maybe like do like um, mobility stretching with Coach Mike. And yeah. CJ mentioned the other day that you actually grew up in the same neighborhood you yeah. did, or you lived there when you were in Miami. Do you remember him? What were what were those encounters like? Maybe on the field or just playground or whatever. No, I wasn't. I wasn't like really around him because like when I was down there, I didn't really know him for. Real. But uh, once I came up here and I knew that he was from the same area I was, I was like, oh, all right. But I never saw him. Plus, I was a little younger too, so. Yeah. So now that you, you see him, I mean, his body for a running back is different. How, how do you guys complement each other in that backfield? I mean, we really just work off each other. Uh, 
you know, what like if I do something a little wrong, then he'll talk to me about it. And then if he do something wrong, he'll come to me and then I'll talk to him, tell him, you know, what he got to work on, what he got to fix. Have you talked to anybody about what it takes to be great? I mean, everybody has talent. There's a lot of guys out there that have talent, but there's so much more than just having talent to being a, a great running back. Have you talked to anybody about that at all? No. No? Obviously, there's a lot of numbers switched around uh, on the offense in particular. What went into picking number one for you now? Um, I don't know. I mean, I really – like, like I, nah, I really wanted four, but, you know, CJ got number four, and that's, like – that's my favorite number. But um, – I don't know, just switching to one, I mean, like, I, I think for me, it's just a number, but, like, I feel more comfortable with being in a single-digit number because how I grew up playing football, you know, I, always, I was always in a single-digit uh, for real. So I feel like getting one, it, it's, a, it's a good feeling. You know, Tavon Austin wore it. I was going to bring up, I saw the minute you announced that, fans immediately said you, you, yeah. know, you know the assignment. Yeah, <laughs> definitely know the assignment. One more on that. What, what does, in your opinion, what's it take to be a great running back? I mean, really focusing on the little things. Uh, like, for, like, to be a running back, you have to make sure that your body's cool, make sure you get the right recovery, make sure you're eating right. Because running backs, we all take a lot of hits. Uh, you know, we get hit a lot. Um, we got to block everybody, you know, so I feel like just taking care of your body and just doing the little things really matter. Consistency, reliability, some of that stuff playing there, yeah, you think? Yeah, consistency for sure. Yeah. Jaheim, you your two touchdown catches last year. Um, right call, right time. Just seemed like it, I don't want to say it tricked him because you had to make the catch and everything, but it just seemed like it was perfect situation for that call. Yeah. Um, catch him off guard a little bit. I know the throws were great sometimes too, but a lot goes into that. Uh, yeah, just the, the touchdown catches last year. Like, just were they the right call at the right time? Oh, yeah, yeah, catch yeah, them yeah, off guard? Yeah, yeah, right call, right time. Yeah. Uh, with Cincinnati and Baylor, that's what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are definitely the right calls, right time. Leaving the huddle, man, we got something here. They're not seeing this coming. Like, you know, it's yeah. surprise. Yeah. Okay. Um, catching balls out of the backfield, though, because you played some slot in high school, right? Mm -hmm. What's different when you're – you're not going straight out of the backfield. You're going, you know, into the flats or trying to angle out of the backfield. Well, that's, that's a trickier catch, I'm guessing. Uh, well, in high school, I didn't really, like, I just played it. So I was mainly, like, out there to, like, the block or catch little little passes. But it wasn't nothing really crazy. Um, but catching it from the backfield, I think I could see it better from being in the backfield just so I can see, like, my reads and who I'm looking at when I run the route when I get open. So you kind of prefer that. Sounds like it's easier? Yeah. Okay. Two ends of the spectrum. Uh, last year, did you have – not many people got real good shots at you last year. Mm. Did you have one welcome to the college football hit where that you're going to remember? No, nah, but uh, when we were playing BYU, they were playing a little dirty and aggressive, so I did feel a couple shots from them, but it wasn't nothing crazy. And the other side of that, is there one play from last year that, you know, 20 years from now, you're going to sit down with your young son and say, this is what I did. Yeah, I feel like. Well, do you, are you saying like what game? A good, yeah, good, a good play that, yeah, one play that you're gonna remember and would like to show your son at some time. I mean, all of it, everything. The, the, the my whole freshman season, uh, Cincinnati, um, my catch against Baylor. Um, yeah. Maybe to be determined. Yeah, yeah. still one out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you mentioned your breakaway speed when you get past that first level. How, how is that something you improve on? Is it a matter of simply running, or are there specific things you do to try to improve that? Uh, it's extra conditioning. <clears throat> um, like, because I know, like, when I get the ball, the first level, like, I don't have to really worry about them. It's really the second and third level that I have to pay attention to, and, like, that's who my guys are, so... I feel like any time I get past the first level, I have to have that extra boost to get past the second and third level. So I think I have this right. Your, your roommates now with Traylon and Rodney? No. No? I thought you, I thought you guys were going yeah, to Yeah, I was supposed to move in with them, but that <laughs> <stuff got> changed. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you all.